Uh, this is something you can't do with a rotary motor. I've taken a couple of coils and put them around each of the pistons and as the pistons go back and forth they'll induce a, a current. Uh, I've joined the wires together and put a diode on one end and we'll see what kind of uh, we'll see what kind of voltage we get on the meter. There's about uh, 2.6, 2.5 volts, and you could always add more wire to the coils and uh, get more voltage, but it's just something that I was quite pleased with, uh, knowing that you could only do this with a reciprocating motor.